Last time on Hearts of Iron Ore. After almost an hour of brutal close quarters armored combat, the Polish capital of Warsaw was captured. Axis forces were now able to focus on the American campaign. The Axis attempted to gain air superiority in what would become the longest air battle in Minecraft history. Throughout the American campaign, air combat continued non-stop for over a real-life hour. And I can prove it. Part 1 of this war's raw footage contains over 15 minutes of dogfighting. Part 2 adds over 20 more minutes of air operations. And part three adds an additional 25 minutes. So yes, in total, that is over an hour of air combat, with every single plane being piloted by an actual player. Now let's get our heads out of the clouds for a bit. After adopting the Panther as their new standard tank, the Axis generally held the upper hand on the ground. And despite adopting the AIR-80 Flying Gypsy as their new standard fighter, the Axis failed to gain air superiority over American airspace. In short, the fate of the world depended on answering the greatest question of our time. Whether it be American air power, or Axis ground forces, which is better, air or ground? Meanwhile, as the Axis advanced northward, their Soviet allies went south to occupy the rest of Florida. If you thought the dogfights were confusing before, it only gets worse. The Soviets and Americans both operate P-39 Air Cobras. Before the 1943 invasion, Bulgaria had deconstructed the fortifications in the Donbass region and used the materials to build Bakhmut's fortress in southern Georgia. While Bakhmut was holding against an American counteroffensive, Polish remnants tried to retake Warsaw. 
and Axis infantry were still pushing further into Georgia. A single Axis tank made it all the way to the city of Augusta, which forced nearby American pilots to give up on the Bakhmut counter-offensive. This freed up some troops to go and suppress the Warsaw Uprising. However, the Poles kept respawning and attacking endlessly. Meanwhile, despite America's best efforts, the Bulgarian army continued advancing northwards into Augusta. Augusta is one of the three main industrial hubs of America, and the city is rumored to have a massive underground facility in which the Manhattan Project is being developed. If Augusta were to fall, it would be a decisive victory for the Axis. Bulgarian troops have once again made it within render distance of Augusta's wall. Radiation from the Manhattan Project caused vehicles to randomly de-atomize themselves. Also, a diversionary force tried to sneak into Washington, D.C. through Del Mara, but they were all slaughtered. Also, the Axis came up with a final solution to the Polish problem, trapping them in their spawn point with blocks. Now that the Poles have been dealt with, the Bulgarians were able to unleash their true power. This time, they would unleash something even more powerful than what they did to Odessa. During the Siege of Odessa, the largest formation was only five outdated medium tanks. Now, Bulgaria's ultimate formation consisted of six tanks, including four modern Panthers and two heavy Stalins.
Bulgaria's true power was so glorious that it reduced everyone's frame rate. This power blinded American pilots, reducing their airstrike accuracy. One by one, the Bulgarian tanks fell victim to American bombs. Now that Bulgaria's ultimate power was defeated, the frame rate had recovered. However, our brave tanker sacrifice was not made in vain. Almost all American troops were now in the air, trying to bomb tanks instead of holding the line on the ground. Axis human wave attacks could advance faster than the Americans could bomb them. While America was hyper-focused on the air, only a single tank from the Hydra Division bothered to defend Augusta. And as American bombs were bursting in the air, the broad stripes of the Bulgarian flag were gallantly streaming over the ramparts of Augusta. As an admin, it is my duty to help. Oops, I missed the ending of the war. Well, you know what that means. We then celebrated by having a school picture day in Augusta's underground laboratory. However, the radiation poisoning caused mass psychosis and paranoia. People also started hallucinating. Many claimed to have seen an angel of death. As the last act of defiance, President Mart M.M. activated the Manhattan Project. The radiation poisoning spread to Bulgaria, triggering another mass psychosis incident.
the nuclear radiation poisoning spread throughout the globe, causing many nations to collapse. The German Reich was disbanded after Führer Walter 44 fled the nation. A few Soviets survived the incident. They then annexed the remnants of Germany, Poland, and the Greater Bulgarian Empire. After a few days of peace and partial rebuilding, President for Life, Mart M.M., was resurrected and seek to retake his lost territories. After annexing Germany, we got our hands on a RAT, ultra-heavy tank, but we couldn't figure out how to drive it correctly. That wasn't the only wonder weapon we got our hands on. Step one of Martimem's master plan was to destroy our weapon caches in Europe. This would cut off our supply of Axis superweapons. Although it was worth it to defeat the enemy super heavy tanks, using a captured Pershing led to many friendly fire incidents. The Americans then went for our largest weapon cache in Bucharest. President Mart M.M. began setting up a tactical nuke in order to weaken our defenses. Luckily, the latest tank models have radiation-resistant interiors. President Martin M. then personally infiltrated the base. Every time Martin M. died, he would waste an entire plane just to come back. Bucharest had fallen. Now Bakhmut was Martinem's final war goal.
America had so many planes that they could afford to waste them for unlimited paradrops. Thanks to Bakhmut's well-designed fortifications, I did not have line of sight on Mart NM. All I could do was vomit from nuclear car sickness while I watched the star-spangled banner gallantly rise over Bakhmut's ramparts. Satisfied with destroying Bulgaria and kicking us out of America, Mart NM was able to peacefully return to hell. We then signed a ceasefire with the next president, officially ending the conflict once and for all. <laughs>